Hello YouTube people, this is Mary from This Door to Life. This is a video of a grocery haul that I just did. As you can see, my whole counter's filled up. And that counter's filled up too as well. Um, this is be a grocery haul. I haven't done one in a long time, but I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to start off with what I got. at. Well, I shopped at Walmart, the Dollar Tree, um, and I also went to the the Asian sh store for some egg roll wrappers or some type of wrappers for our egg rolls. Um, but that's pretty much where everything came from. Um, the first things first is I got two loaves of bread for my kids' sandwiches for um, for lunch for the week after Christmas. Um, I got a box of white cheddar black pepper macaroni and cheese. I got two things of evaporated milk. Um, this is for uh, the sweet potato casserole that I'm going to make. I got some flour tortillas. I got two flour things of flour tortillas for ki my kids to make quesos. And also we're going to do tacos the week after Christmas as well. Um, I got two Oreo crusts for um, this pie that I'm going to make for my daughter. It's, called, it's a grasshopper pie. Um, it's like marshmallow, whipped cream mint flavor, green food coloring. It looks really good. I also got a thing of pizza sauce because we're going to make pizza bombs for Christmas Eve. I got a thing of vanilla ice cream for our, our pies of, and our, our cookies or whatever we make for Christmas for goodies. I got a big um, fruit tray from Walmart. This thing was like nine dollars but I haven't had fresh fruit in a while and it looked really good so I got it. Um, I also went to a Country Mart. I got creamy ranch, this creamy ranch dip from Country Mart, and I got this eggnog from Country Mart. I also got two things of deli cheese for a cheese cracker and summer sausage tray that we're going to make um, for Christmas Eve. I got a big box of cereal from Walmart for my kids' breakfast. I got two things of minced garlic. I got this Reynolds wrap from the Dollar Tree. Um, I got two things of Mexican corn style cornbread and yellow cornbread just in case because I'm going to be doing a lot of beans the next couple weeks to um, make up for um, or to use as much of the ham that I'm, I'm using as possible. I also got this little thing of um, cherry tomatoes for our vegetable tray. That's what the ranch dip is for, is for our vegetable tray. I also got two, got some angel hair coleslaw and some shredded carrots. These are for our um, homemade egg rolls. I also got my nieces, these LOL pets. These were like $5 and these were the same price as a smaller one. So I was like, yep, I'm going to get these for them for Christmas. I also got um, four things of cut green beans. My husband loves green beans, bacon, new potatoes, and onions. So that's what we're going to have for Christmas dinner. I also got these two pans right here. These 8 by 8 inch pans from the Dollar Tree for like a dollar. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I also miraculously found some disinfectant spray at Walmart. So I grabbed some. I haven't been able to find any of this since the whole pandemic started. It was It's crazy. So I grabbed it as soon as I saw it. And I didn't want to be greedy and I just got one. So I also got my nieces some cotton candy for their, their uh, Christmas. I got some semi-sweet chocolate chips because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a chocolate chip pie. I got some Reese's peanut butter cup candy. Um, we're going to do this chocolate chip brownie Reese's peanut butter cup cookie that my husband found on YouTube that he wanted to try. We're going to make those. I need to buy a couple more of these, but that's all I could. They wouldn't scan at Walmart. The, the, the numbers wouldn't scan, so I just got two. And I also got this little bag from the Dollar Tree. Um, has a Santa Claus, and it's for my niece's um, Christmas gift. I also got a bag of sharp cheddar, a bag of mild, two bags of mild cheddar, and a bag of Colby Monarch cheese, shredded cheese. This is for our baked mac and cheese, 
and our um, sausage balls that we're going to have for Christmas morning breakfast. I also got a thing of sweet cream butter. I always use this for like my cookies and stuff. So I always, I always use this for that. It's got a really, I like the taste of it. Um, I also got a big thing of sausage because, you know, we're having a lot of things. We're having guests. My, my parents are coming. My cousin, his wife, and my nieces might be coming. Um, and um, we might have a couple of friends come over. Um, but we're making a lot of food for Christmas Eve and Christmas dinner. So I also got two big things or two of these state fair corn dogs for the kiddos for lunches. I got some mozzarella sticks. My son asked for these for Christmas Eve dinner as a snack. I got some dark brown sugar for our pecan pie. I also got these. I always go to the Asian store here near my house. Um, they always have a lot. This is the only thing they had, but I've used these before. And these are pretty good for egg rolls. I also got two big things of pepperoni, or two things of pepperoni. Um, one's for the pizza, the pizza bomb tree, that Christmas tree that I'm making. And the other one's for like the sausage, cheese, cracker tray. I also got some thighs that were on sale at Walmart. Um, this is for a meal after. We used to do like baked chicken, baked pork chops, whatever. Um, I also got another thing of chicken broth just to be on the safe side. Um, for my stuffing that I'm making, I make like stock uh, crock pot stuffing. It's really delicious and it's really easy. Um, so I'm always afraid I don't have enough chicken broth, so I got a thing of chicken broth. I also got these for the pizza bombs. You just use these for the pizza bombs. You put like the pepperoni and a cube of uh, mozzarella, this mozzarella. Cut off a cube of it, put it in there with the sauce and the pepperoni, and you bake it. And you put like some garlic and butter, melted butter on top. It's really good. I made I made it last year, and my son loves it, so that's what I'm making him. I also got my kids a couple of little drinks, um, some Fanta and some cream soda, just for the holidays. Usually they drink water, but I thought I'd splurge on them and get them a little two liter. That'll last them. Um, I also got some ground chicken. I always use this in my egg rolls. We do chicken egg rolls. So, And I also got a small thing of uh, the mini marshmallows. This is for our sweet potato casserole. And I got these big ones because this is what that grasshopper pie called for. It was big marshmallows. You you melt it with some butter and, some, and you throw some whipped cream in it and, make it and whip it up and put a little uh, mint flavor in it and food coloring and mix it up and it's green but it has it goes with the oreo pie crust it sounds really good and my daughter my daughter loves love loves mint chocolate so that's why i'm making that also i got some celery sticks i'm i'm going to use whatever's left over for like a vegetable tray i'm going to do celery sticks um tomatoes and some carrots i have some carrots also, I got this shortening. I use this for my pie crust. And also, I'm probably going to use it as like an alternative if I don't have oil or something. I always like having it around for baking. I also got a big thing of butter. Like, I was like, oh, we need a big thing of butter because we've been running out of butter for like the last two weeks. There has not been any butter at Walmart. I also got um, some white cheddar, another box of white cheddar macaroni and cheese. I got a big thing of buttermilk. Um, I'm making some cornbread from scratch with some cornmeal and baking powder. Um, I'm gonna make that for our, our, our crock pot stuffing, so that's why I got a big one. Cause like I said, I'm gonna do beans and then we're gonna do the stuffing, so I'm gonna need that. Also, I got a big thing of milk because a lot of the stuff I making calls for milk or my kids drink it for cereal. Also, I got some yellow rice, Saturn's yellow rice, some rice aroni, long grain rice. So these are sides that we make with our meat when we're having like um, pork chops or chicken or whatever. Also, I got these two packages of chocolate chip cookie mix that I'm just going to mix together for the, the cookie that I was telling you about with the brownie and the Reese's Pieces 
That's how I'm going to make it. Also, I got two big things of yams for my sweet potato casserole. I got a thing of Grand's buttermilk biscuits. I got these pork sirloin chops, and they look so good. So I got these for the week after Christmas. I also got a thing of Rotel. I already had a couple in my cabinet, but I went ahead and got one just in case. I got a big thing of whipped cream, cream because I have a couple of recipes that call for it. Also, I got half and half. Um, for a couple of recipes as well. Um, I got a big thing of bacon for breakfast. I also got like three things of hamburger meat. One's for smoked queso for New Year or Christmas Eve. And then this is for tacos for after Christmas. And I got a big thing of oil. I got a thing of Bisquick. I got two things of fudge brownie mix. It calls for fudge brownie mix. So if you make the chocolate chip cookies with the Reese's, this is what it calls for. It calls for this type of brownie. So this is the kind you need. And also I got some bold nacho cheese taco shells for tacos for after Christmas. I got two things of the regular Velveeta for like smoked queso and maybe my baked mac and cheese and I also got like this white queso that I'm going to throw in the smoked queso and the baked mac and cheese because it's really good and finally last but not least we got some new whole potatoes this is for our green beans and onion and bacon thing that I make for my husband well anyways everybody this is pretty much everything that I got at the store for Christmas. Um, if you're wondering what all of this, this is all the goody stuff. This is flour, peanut butter for baking. I'm making peanut butter blossoms, um, the brownie cookie, and I'm also making, um, what was the other thing? I forgot. There's something else, but I'll figure it out. But I hope you all enjoyed my little haul that I made. This was 200 almost this was $258 for all this. That's not the flour was from a previous grocery visit, so um but yeah, that's $258 worth of food, friends. Um if you enjoyed it, please please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to do more, um, more videos like this one, and I may show you a video of how I make the cookie that I keep talking about <laughs> over and over again. It sounds really, really good, and I'm glad my husband thought about it. He's just so smart. Um, but if you like it, please subscribe, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, um, holiday, and I hope you all stay safe, and I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.